So that's it, let's get it in there. And now, there we go. It, <laughs> so, it hardens up again, just like before. The sodium borate works as a hardening agent and it'll start hardening. So put that down, ladies. Okay. We're gonna give you some of the sodium borate on your hands. Oh. So you're gonna rub it into your hands like so. It might feel a little powdery because of the borax in there. So rub that into your hands. Now this is gonna stop the silly putty and the slime from sticking to your hands when cool. you touch it. So you'll be able to get it off your stick and have a good play with it and feel, and it will not stick to oh. your hands. You end up with nice, clean <laughs> wow. hands. Wow. This is so much fun, and then I get to take this home, right? They get to take this home. We normally let them in a class make two or three of these, and they can add them together to make uh, big oh. ones of different colors. Uh -huh. You might need just a little bit more of this on your <laughs> fingers. Sorry to stick to me now. There we go. <laughs> Science sometimes, you know, it isn't a... It gets messy. It gets messy sometimes. <laughs> but that's all part of the fun, I find. There we go. And it'll start peeling off the more you play oh, with it. I dropped it. <laughs> and so you can put that back down, ladies. Okay. All right, so we're going to back, backtrack now to our bouncy balls and see where we are on those. They should be about ready. So pop them, put the cup down, take the bouncy ball out. Okay. Now what you have to do with these, let me help you. Okay. You're going to put your thing, thumbs in the opening and it cracks open a little bit like an egg. Oh, peel it open. Half of your mold will come out. You put your finger on top and just you roll it out. Up. Now, sometimes they get a little finger mark or a little bit of extra, you just smooth that over. And if you'd like to bounce that, you can see can that. Can you help me with mine? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure thing, no worries. And you can see that it will start, we'll smooth that over. Okay. There we go. Wow. And bounce it, and it should now bounce up to wow, you. Wow, cool. So these started off in the powder <laughs> form. In that little packet. In our little packet, like, like this. And each bag makes two. So we normally let the kiddies make two bouncy balls. Okay. When we do it with a classroom, they can add different colors to make stripy balls. We try and relate it to different planets. So we give each planet a different color. So the Earth would be blue and green. I've got the blue. That's right. So they're very cool. So these are some of our take-home experiments. Now, we also build rockets. We oh. make candy dragonflies, and we talk about worms. Okay, now I think we should do one more experiment. I've got some electricity. Does that sound good? That sounds awesome. Okay, so we're going to do some electricity. So I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to ask one of you brave ladies to come and hold my light bulb for me. So if you could stand up in here. And could you stand next to her? Okay. Lovely. Now we've got a very special piece of equipment. This is called a Tesla coil, and this lets me use electricity in my hands. So you need to hold on to this nice and straight. If you could look at the bottom of the light bulb, we're going to turn on the Tesla coil. And what starts to happen to the light bulb? You can see it turn on. Now, if you look at the bottom, you can actually see the electricity jumping. So it'll jump from the Tesla coil into the light bulb. Wow. Now, if we watch up here again, could you walk your hands up? Now, what's happening to the brightness of the light? It's going up and go down again. Now what's happening to the brightness? So where's that electricity going? Into your body. And you can shock. So would you like to shock our co-host? Yeah. All righty. So I'm going to turn this off. What I'd like you to do is hold it with one hand, point your finger, and then your slowly lady's going to touch fingertips. Now let me turn this on. Watch in between their fingers. We should get a nice shock. Oh, are you feeling that? Yeah. And can we see a little spark? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll turn this off again, ladies. And that was just a little bit of, ele of electricity. We do normally the electricity with our circuits, and the kids get to make electric circuits where they make lights light up and fans. So if we want to go back to where we were before, okay. just around here. Now, I've had a wonderful time today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, can you tell me a little bit about how you got into this? Yeah, I actually started when I graduated college about three years ago. I worked with a friend in this industry. And then about a year ago, I started Super Science Tennessee on my own with my wife. And we have 
over 25 different programs. We've got a great website at superscientetn.com, which has got pictures and lists of all our shows. And we do absolutely any event where children are. So again, I hope you've had fun today. We did. It's and fun. it's been a pleasure. So thank you so much. Thank you. Hope to see you again real soon. Thank you. Now this was uh, Mr. Rich. And again, he is a super scientist from Super Science Tennessee.